Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Y2. I'm your host, the Pokemon Gamer. In the last episode, we finished off the Victory Road, kind of made our way here to the Nebo Plateau, Victory, or not Victory, but Elite Four, whatever. Uh, we healed and we just kind of made it at the 15 minute mark last episode so we couldn't get started. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking on two members of the Elite Four. Um, this time, I'm not really going to be doing these in like clockwise type of whatever we're going to be starting off with specific members um, in case you've forgotten which one this direction leads to this leads to Marshall the fighting type specialist of the Elite Four um, so MVPs for this entire fight are going to both be Espeon and Skarmory mainly Espeon obviously that's why it's in the lead um, Marshall has a throw, a sock, a mind shout, and a conk Helder. The reason why Skarmory is actually going to be participating in this battle is because both throw and sock carry dark type moves. Um, mind shout also carries a bug move, but it's not as bulky as either of you know the two when it comes to sock and throw. Uh, the reason why we're actually using Espeon against throw here is because throw does not have sturdy, whereas sock has that opportunity to actually hit through you know your move because obviously you can live a one hit kill basically from psychic and you don't want to get hit by that dark move. So Skarmory being a flying type and having the rocky helmet is going to make that sturdy not, you know, a huge problem. So basic strategy for this entire fight for us is going to be literally psychic everything except for, you know, Sock, because then you just fly and he goes for a move that hits you physically and then you just go, oh, well I have rocky helmet. Um, for some reason I thought I'd change out there but I, I really don't. Um, honestly though the the U-turn did kind of scare me. Mind show can be I think decently I don't, I don't remember Mind Show's base speed, but like I don't know like defensively which one is higher and if it for some reason you know lives then that would have been terrible. But um yeah anyways in comes his sock which again is sturdy. Um, don't want to have to deal with this. The cool part is, is he didn't survive because of the Rocky Helmet, otherwise he would have used his full restore, which would have been kind of annoying. But, um, yeah, I mean, whatever. And this thing doesn't have a dark move. Oh, well, it has a dark move, but um, it doesn't have anything that can do anything really than Skarmory. So, he goes for the Brick Break, gets some damage off, whatever. Rocky Helmet, doing what it does, it killed the Sock because, you know, recoil damage, basically. And that just leaves Kelder, who is going to just get, you know, schmopped by Espeon. So, that's Marshall down, basically. Um, this video is not going to be very long. I'm sure you could tell by you know, seeing the little thumbnail on YouTube saying 7 minutes and roughly 30-something. Maybe 30-something seconds. Uh, it might be less than that. Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, either way, this is obviously not going to be a very long video, because I don't want to fit more than two members of each. Like, two many. I don't want to put more than two members of the Elite Four into like a single video because, you know, it's just a little, it's better this way. Like it would be kind of awkward to do, you know, like three and one, and then do two and or not two but one in the next one or whatever, or do the next one after that with the champion in that episode or whatever. Like it just seems a little awkward to me to do that. So I mean. Whatever, plus there's like a huge amount of credits, so that's partly why I want to um, do the champion in its own video, which I think I've done in like all my previous Let's Plays. So, yeah. And in case you don't remember which room this is, this is the room that leads to Grimsley, who is the Dark type specialist of the Elite Four. Um, basic strategy and um, MVPs for this battle are going to be Lucario and Samurai. And of course, Samurai didn't have to be. I could have easily changed this up to Lilligant. But um, the reason for this is because Grimsley has the. Okay, let's cover his team. Lyford, Scrafty, Crocodile, and Bisharp. Um, the only thing here that seems. The even like remote threat to my Lucario here is Crocodile with the Intimidate ability. Not to mention its ground typing being super effective against my Steel typing. Um, Needless to say, I I probably would have outsped it, but kind of want to save not only PP on close combat, but also um you know don't want to take that chance, that really like, low chance that it will somehow survive, and then um, yeah. Also, you're probably wondering why Fake Out didn't flinch. It's probably because Lucario has Inner Focus, which means it does not flinch. So hooray for that. I, I think I mentioned this a long ass time ago. Lucario is one of the best Pokemon to use in this entire game, story-wise and 
like hell you can Lucario is still fucking playable when it comes to you know competitive battles even in version 6 despite the fact that the Lucario Knight is you know oh hey band ubers I think I don't remember if it's band ubers or just band in general I'm pretty sure it's band ubers so um, I don't really keep up with the item bands like that but whatever anyways Crooked Isle comes out obviously intimidate and then gets destroyed by Skull <clears throat> And the voice kind of cuts out there for whatever reason. But, um, yeah. And then in comes Scrafty, who does not have Intimidate. So, Lucario comes in, and basically this is where, you know, we, or what's his name, Grimsley loses. Because Lucario, you know, stab close combat to the face and outspeeds, plus the level gap. It's not very pretty. And... Considering the fact that his last Pokemon is also four times a week to fighting, it is kind of disgusting. Because, I mean, like, I, I honestly hate Pokemon that have four times weaknesses. This example would be Scrafty in Generation 6. Um, both fighting and dark are weak to fairy, so that makes Scrafty four times a week to fairy, which makes it seem less play even in BTC. Uh, I know that some people still do it, but there's also, like, the presence of Gardevoir and several other fairies. Not very many, of course, but there's still some. So it's just not seeing as much play as it did last year, especially when it came to Nationals and Worlds. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, again, Bisharp being four times with the fighting, it's going to go down really easy. Not to mention, it's really slow. Um, so, I mean, whatever. Lucario, easy sweep. And, um, I'm really going to get some extra experience because it really doesn't need it. But, um, yeah. And I did level up a bit because... Um, I wanted to make sure that my levels were actually close to the round 2 version of the Elite Four, which we will be doing, but it's going to probably be the last thing that we end up doing. But, um, yeah, considering that we just took down two members of the Elite Four, that's our two for this episode. So, in the next episode, we will be taking on Caitlyn and Chantal, and then we will be taking on the champion on Monday, because today is Thursday as far as I remember. So, um, yeah, we'll be doing that, so be sure to stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, this is the Pokegamer, signing out.